and the uh, clinical impression was that maybe this this had like a hard kind of nodule in the dermis, and they wondered if maybe there was a foreign body, like maybe they had gotten um, you know cut on something and a little piece of metal or glass or something broke into their skin. And I wondered if that might be the case right here. The epidermis looks uh, kind of thickened and reactive. There's some scarring and blood in the dermis here. And so I thought maybe it was a foreign body that we just was underneath the shave biopsy. And then I saw an extra piece here, and now we actually can get to a diagnosis. So here, there are some kind of blue, uh, little basaloid cells on the outside, and in the middle, there's pink keratin. But this keratin's kind of special. It doesn't just look like loose flakes of keratin. It actually looks like you can see the outline of individual individual cells. Sometimes it's hard. Let me put the condenser back up so you can see. See, you can see like a shadow or a ghost outline of dead, of dead keratinocytes. And those the same kind of cells that are over here, those cells have kind of died off and converted into these sheets of, of ghost or shadow cells. And these are a very, very characteristic, very useful clue to the diagnosis that we're gonna make here. And the other thing that you'll often see in this entity, see here's more of these kind of shadow or ghost cells. More of them still. And then the other thing that you're gonna see are these areas here, blue basaloid cells. They're very blue because they have uh, nuclei, but little cytoplasm. And the blue basaloid cells are kind of converting into these areas of, of sheets of ghost cells. And this right here, this, this one picture, this is diagnostic of pilomatricoma or pilomatrixoma. You can put either a C or an X in that word, whichever you like. And um, pilomatricoma is a benign hair follicle tumor. Sometimes it's kind of cystic and it can be hard and firm because it often calcifies. So that explains clinically why it kind of looked like a firm nodule that might've been a foreign body. But what you have is varying amounts of these blue basaloid cells, which are kind of what these are. These are called matricle cells. They're recapitulating or kind of imitating the kind of cells that you see in the root uh, or bulb of a normal hair follicle. And what normal hair follicle matricle cells do is they turn from blue cells like this and kind of die off and become dead, dead keratin. And that dead keratin it organizes into a hair shaft. That's the normal process that happens in a hair follicle. And that this tumor is trying to, it's trying to kind of recapitulate or imitate that process. It's just not doing a very good job at it. So instead what you get are these blue um, matricle cells, and uh, these cells are usually uniform. They might have small nuclei, but they don't usually have marked pleomorphism or atypical mitoses. They may, however, have quite a few normal looking mitoses, and I think that that's sometimes because they're blue and cellular, and because they often have a lot of mitotic activity in them. See, mitoses can be very brisk. Here's one, there's another one there. Because you can see so many mitoses, if you're not familiar with this tumor, you can get very scared and uh, worry that it's malignant. And there is a malignant form of this, but it's quite rare. And usually you're gonna have marked atypia and really infiltrative growth, um, which we can't really see here because this is fragmented. And uh, these are the sheets of kind of, uh, of ghost or shadow cells. So the blue basaloid cells and the ghost and shadow uh, dead keratinocytes over here, pilomatricoma. And this one's got even a little bonus, these little red things, these are called trichohyaline granules. And again, that's a finding that you see in the inner root sheath of a normal hair follicle. So if you're really into derm path, you'll appreciate that and think that's cool. And uh, that's, it makes me happy when I see those at least. So really nice example of pilomatricoma. These are most common in young kids, often in the head and neck area, but they can be seen in people of all ages. And even this person who is older, totally fine to have pilomatricomas. I see them in older adults all the time. Um, and anyway, this is a really nice example. And if I, if I see the blue basaloid cells and the matricles, I mean, and the uh, shadow or ghost cells, that's really great. But sometimes all you'll see is kind of a granulomatous reaction and just some fragments of these shadow or ghost cells. And for me personally, I'm happy if I just see some of these ghost cells, I'm happy to say that it's suggestive of or consistent with a pilomatricoma because it's a very characteristic finding to see these uh, shadow or ghost cells. Very, very unusual to see quite the, this pattern in uh, anything else really other than a pilomatricoma or a couple of similar entities.